Hello everybody, I'm Dan RFD Tree 2000, also known as Dan 2000 Xbox Live, and this is it, as I have said before, this reaction is a late reaction to WWE SummerSlam, starting off with the kickoff show, and I'm going to review and re react, and even make the predictions for WWE SummerSlam on this video. I'm sorry for the late delay because of my holiday in Disney World, but it's finally here. So here is the video for me reacting to WWE SummerSlam 2017. And here we go with the first matchup on the kickoff show. And head on down to the Raw announcing Michael Cole, Booker T, and Corey Graves. It's all you got from here. I want to remind Jerry the King Lawler that Stone Cold Steve Austin almost cost me my undefeated streak at WrestleMania, but justice did prevail in the end. You know, four times a year, Raw and SmackDown get together for pay-per-view events. This is one of them, SummerSlam. Hey, everybody, for Monday Night Raw, Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and the Hall of Famer, Booker T. Are you guys ready? They don't call it the biggest point of the summer for nothing. I'm still fired up from NXT TakeOver last night. This building is rocking. Can we please have one on the set? And the Miz will be poked on the kickoff show. Someone like an alien should just don't like him should be very upset that him and the Miz Raj are on the fucking kickoff show. In a six man tag team matchup. So they ain't, they're, they're not letting any of the go people in, and yet the wrestlers are still going out to wrestle. So they're wrestling in front of like 30 people, probably. Not even that. Jason Jordan. And here come the Hardy Boys! Delete! 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 At Funk and Nurse Prediction Time is the Mr. Oz and the Miz take on the Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan! Uh, I think the Hardy Boys are gonna win and I want the Hardy Boys to win. Miz is gonna steal one. Yes, Miz stole it. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Well, my one prediction wrong at the moment. Oh my god, the Miz has stolen one. Oh, it's a good match about to take a big in and it's a cruiserweight uh, championship match uh, because we got we have well, we have Corey Graves in that um, 
Cru the CO to 205 Live commentator that's joining Corey Graves for this match and for the last couple of painful views he's been on the, the kickoff show that's been a cruiserweight match. So it's gonna be the cruiserweight championship match. And how, speaking of the former cruiserweight champion, uh, uh, here comes Neville! Over the day of this, of this, again, the day of this recording, again, I'm watching SummerSlam, and this is when Neville wasn't the cruiserweight champion. So, you know, if he wins, if he's won the championship since then, then fair enough. But he's not the champion here. champion Akira Suzawa again uh, from, the, from the recording of this video again this happened at SummerSlam so he was the cruiserweight champion at SummerSlam walking into SummerSlam uh, but uh, now I'm gonna make a few predictions I think that it'll be uh, Cesaro, I think it'll be uh, Neville, and I will buy what Cesaro to retain the championship. The reason why I say I think it's going to be Neville, because I think they're not. And now they're on them free! Finally they're letting them in. His feet stop Akira Sazara. values the cruiserweight championship like nothing else in the world. Superhuman resilience. Yeah, super Neville could be thinking about the superplex, which has brought him so much luck in the past. Sazawa just, and just to the clubs abdomen. to the back. He can't tell anything. Now it's gonna be time for the Santon Splash. Sawa can feel it. This could be the opportunity he needs. So no, he put the knees up. Right to the back of Tozawa. Now at the last moment, got his knees up before Tozawa delivered the second. Oh, don't tell me. Could have done some. It's gonna be Red Arrow. Cruiserweight Championship may be changing hands here. Red Arrow onto the back. One, two, three. Yes, it's all over. The new Cruiserweight Champion. Never. It's a two time Cruiserweight Champion. Just as I predicted.
Boom! Has the knees up. Now I thought, uh, I knew it was over as soon as he put the knee, knees up. Crap! Boom! And to add insult to injury, he hits the red arrow. Boom! To the lower back. Look at the height. The king of the cruiserweight, Scott, here at the Barclay Center. Better believe Neville brought the, the red arrow. The and now has double arrow. hook of the legs. Right to the back of the champion, and once again, Neville rips the throne away from the cruiserweight division. Well, he surely is the king of the cruiserweights. That's proof, proof right there. That is proof. It's SmackDown's time for a hell of a SummerSlam kickoff show match for SmackDown Live. I wonder who it's going to be, I don't know what match it's going to be. Probably Rusev in a match against Randy Orton. No, I'm just joking, it'll be someone like Chad Gable. Oh no, it's... what? Sorry, what? The New Day are defending their tag team titles on the kickoff show. It's like, what? They could have made an improv match. An improv women's match. Uh, they could have had anybody. Anybody. They could have had Chris Jericho in the match. But the Usos? What? They got bumped down to the kickoff show. What the hell? This is some bullshit. I'm fucking confused. Why have they bumped with them down to the kickoff show, man? I have no idea. This is not making any sense. And that's exactly what they would do. But not only were they able to knock off the New Day of Colonel Little Momentum, but they got some important key information going into this matchup. Yeah, so I mean, basically they didn't have it the last time. Unbelievable. You know, they David Ann for the Usos. <laughs> it's become very personal between the Usos and the New Day, getting back to the rap battle. Everything that's gone down between these two teams. Well, it comes to New Day, I guess. Oh! oh. Run! Don't you dare be sour! Clap! Five three time jabs. I feel the power! It's a new day! Yes, it is! It's the new day! Wow! What the fuck? <laughs> What is it, fucking Power Rangers? Brooklyn was the 
spot where we began a 483-day championship reign. Becoming the longest reigning tag team champions in the history of WWE. And here we are one more time tonight, SummerSlam in Brooklyn, facing the Usos. The Usos. Us. And we're here to tell you that tonight at SummerSlam in Brooklyn will be no different from every other time that New Day shows up in Brooklyn. What I'm saying is tonight the New Day will beat the Usos and go on to remain your SmackDown Live. W W E one time. Champions be Congos New Day Rocks 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 titles between the New Day and the Usos and uh Byron the New Day walk and we're having some uh, interesting outfits here at SummerSlam. Yeah, I talked to New Day and said it's an ode to DC Comics Red Lantern with the color red huh. representing the rage that the Usos have brought out of the tag team champions. And this is what it is all about here tonight. Well, the New Day walk out of Brooklyn where I think the Usos are uh, 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 no, I'm sorry. I want yeah, actually no I do think the Usos will win here. But I want the New Day, of course. Let's get it on! Maybe at Woods is looking to baseball slide. Oh my god! What in the fuck is Sam Hell? The hell? No, no! I stopped him.
This is awesome! This is awesome, I agree! Was the legal man? Huh. Oh my God. That was an awesome match. Houston and Usos winning the tag team titles. Yeah. It's 
time for uh, Kurt Harkins. Jesus Christ, all these signs are not going to be signed, seen by certain WWE superstars. Oh, it's the John Cena versus Baron Corbin match. It's the kick, well, start uh, uh, to start off. Uh, SummerSlam! Well, Baron, well, John Cena has apparently lost it every SummerSlam since the last, since, well, he screwed over the Nexus. So, is this going to be another loss for John Cena? I hope so. John Cena kicking off, well, starting off, but depending on which way you want to say it, Summers then to take on Baron Corbin. With his crappy new music. What the fuck is this new fucking theme song then? Why? Why has he got this? Yeah, for my money in the for my Mr. Money in the Bank. I don't like that song whatsoever. Change it back, please. To, I love the old. The Miley Cyrus. I would play it, but that's copyright. However, uh, WWE just done that before in their pay-per-views. But hey. I'll try it. I think we'll, I'll tell you what. But why did they change it to the choir? Bullshit, I don't know. It's called Superhuman. I miss that. I miss Superhuman. I miss that. Alright, here we go. Baron Corbin versus John Cena. Who do I think is going to win? I think it will be John Cena, but I want Baron Corbin. Looks like it's over, folks. And... One, two, three! He did it! I actually thought he was going to lose, but no, he did not. And John Cena... He has won at SummerSlam multiple times before in the past. Watch this. Boom! That was from earlier on, but hey, Cena won, just as I predicted.
The embarrassing thing is... Cena wins. Natalia Nightheart, the Queen Heart. Always an amazing entrance. Always. Predictions time. Uh, I think it might. I think I'm gonna go with Naomi in this one, and I want Natalia. Sharp shooter run in the middle of the ring. Run in the middle of the ring. And she tap. And she tap. She sees the middle of the bottom rope, and that's just pulling her up back, and she's sending it in. Look at it, new champion for sure. She's sending it in, right, putting it right in there. Oh! 
No, that's it. That Talia does not have any left in her altar, I don't think. Split! No, no! Split letting move, so I thought that was it. And now Natalia again going for that shot shooter. This time in the middle of the ring again. Will she tap out this time? New champion for shot perhaps. Perhaps. And she taps! She taps out Natalia is the new Smackdown Live Women's Champion. So we've got a new SmackDown Live Women's Champion, new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. Will this be a, a whole sweep of new champions? Wait a minute. No? Carmella? Carmella maybe? No, 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 Natalia is still... Split, they get moved, so... Congratulations, Natalia, as the new... Oh, God, she's crying. Really? Well, I was going to say, congratulations to the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion, Natalia! Oh, God, this is going to be the most boring of all matches. Another shark cage match. The first one they had was a fucking when Chris Jericho was hanging above the shark cage. I don't even want to pay attention to this match. I don't really want to, to be honest. What is the fucking point of uh, yeah, this match? We have to make predictions, so... in a still cage and you're still oh yeah he's still fucking jumping you're about to be locked in, locked inside the fucking still still cage really you're gonna be hyped up to be locked in still the still cage and you're still gonna do this dumbass I'm not even going to react because he doesn't deserve the reaction. I usually get hyped. Brooklyn, New York, you idiot. The difference between me and the other people is I have always played the hand that I 
was dealt. I just had the balls to tattoo a microphone on it. So you want to lock me in a shark cage of certified cheese and what? throw away the key? Well, you are better off. Lock You're making no sense, Alonzo. Because right now, I am the alcohol of this microphone. What? Thank you, big guys. Thank God I had about enough of that delinquent soliloquy. I never thought I'd say that, but thank you, big cats. Cass made his way to the ring. to this match once I went You can't be serious. 
times are uh, contagious built so you can keep it out. What the hell? He's gonna buy the auction. <laughs> I have never seen anything like this. What's a felon always a felon? And Big Cass has no idea that any of this is happening. Uh. And he is trying now to uh slip to the bars and the shot is his own. You can't be serious. What? Enzo's out the cage. wins like I predicted. It's Randy Orton. I don't know what the hell I just said there. But it's Randy Orton taking on Rusev. Just for shits and giggles. My boy, Randy Orton. My favorite WWE superstar of all time. 
You can have your Randy Savages, you can have your Oh, Warriors, you can have your Hulk Hogan's, your Undertaker's, the Shawn Michaels, the Triple H's, Stone Cold Steve Austin's The Rock. Nothing holds a candle to Randy Orton, even with his temper and slow paced matches. It's just that spectacular move that comes out of nowhere, even though the diamond cutter was first. It's just that Randy Orton makes it look better. Yeah, his, his career didn't start off as well as it did. With being a legend, Kira, and all that, and part of evolution. And, I mean, that evolution, yeah, that whole Randy, that Randy Orton was okay, but then the legend Kira came, came along, and I did no, wait a minute! Explaining why Randy is so awesome. And this happened. Boom! I slam into the side of the barricade. Just... Here it 
not Sasha Banks for her match against the Raw Women's Champion? Will it be the boss that becomes the Raw Women's Champion? I certainly really hope so. Where is she? What the hell, where is she? I'm sorry, where did she get that from? She wasn't wearing that when she was um, about to, when she hugged Bailey. That's that was earlier on. What the fuck? Sasha Banks is anxious. Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> Alexa Bliss. I don't know why I just did that, but hey, you know, she's got a catchy theme song. Alexa Bliss, she was a Yankee Stadium last week. She Sasha become a free time women's champion, I want to say. Nobody likes her. Everyone's booing her. Nicely done there, Alexa, pretending that the boos are on you when they were on her. It's looking Sasha Banks. It was Alexa. With the Raw Women's Championship, and I even time to make my predictions. I think Alexa, but I want Sasha Banks. Sasha versus Bailey at NXT Takeover here in Brooklyn a couple of years ago. Sasha actually in an interview this week talked about how she needs to get back up into the winning column here in Brooklyn. It was last year at SummerSlam. She had a rough time with Charlotte in the championship match. So can Sasha Banks do it here tonight against Alexa Bliss? Well, Booker, you and I have talked at length. You know my feelings. You just keep moving. Bank statement is locked in, but she crawls her way to the bottom rope. Alexa crawls to the bottom rope after getting out the bank statement. 
Uh oh. Looking for the double knees. No! champion what what just happened say what I wasn't even she said child where did that come from to Sasha Banks will become the champion but where the fuck did it come from? She ratched it back good My God! Well done, Sasha! Congratulations! Wow! Her new championships after the new championships. Colonel Hayes. 
here he comes. Ray Wyatt. Take on the demon, Finn Balor. The Fireflies are out in full force here tonight at Barclays Center. Stephanie McMahon has the Evil Empire of Wrestling on her side. Here's the Fireflies and the Evil Empire of Wrestling on her side. Here's the Fireflies and the Evil Empire of Wrestling on her side. You follow the mothers down the left hand path far enough, it will lead you straight into the arms of Ray Wyatt. a former WWE champion. And he's beaten Finn Balor before. Can he do it again? We're about to find out. Demon King. Uh-oh. You better prepare yourself, Bray Wyatt, because here comes the Demon King. The last time we saw the Demon King at SummerSlam, he became the first ever Universal Champion after fighting through a dislocated shoulder. The fuck is this? <laughs> hey! Uh oh. Oh dear. Hey, Brady, thinking to himself, that's my gimmick. Well, fuck. We all love and we know we all know and love. This is the old Finn Balor that we see when he has big matches like this one. Uh, there he is! Here he is, the Demon King himself! Finn! Baller!
He has the Ballot Club. Congratulations, Finn Fowler. And here comes Cesaro and Sheamus, the Raw Tag Team Champions. Fella, they don't, they are, they don't just raise the bar, they are the bar. Question. 
I don't know if they will or not. Here comes Seth Rollins. He's out first. Okay. There goes my fear. Okay, he's wearing red. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. doing this. Make some predictions now while well, uh, Dean Ambrose and uh, they started off real quick, so I never got a chance to make my predictions. But all I want, Seamus and Dean Ambrose are Russ just talking to each other's partners. I'm gonna say I, I think there's gonna that there's gonna be at least one title that's gonna be still around the waist. So I think it'll be Seamus and Cesaro retaining their titles. Um, but I want Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins to win. Seamus as Dean Ambrose trying to make the tag to Seth Rollins. And there goes Seth Rollins. Oh my god! 
Double team. Super Flex! Front Splash! No chance he to... No! Cesaro saves it! Shotgun on Marner! to enough of the one match to never maybe apart from maybe the big show versus big cast match they've all been pretty awesome the title changes after the title changes and a tag has been made to Dean Ambrose oh, look at this. This looks familiar, huh? <laughs> Sam Hell. Uh, well, they ain't. Oh my God! Uh -oh. Usually, Roman Reigns is there to help out. Oh no! There goes Seth Rollins. A roll up! A roll up! Oh, thank goodness for that! Oh, side slam! One, two, two! Kicked out again. Near fall off the near fall. Still got Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles and Jinder Mahal versus Shinsuke Nakamura and the final and the final four match for the Universal Health title. Wait a minute, Sora Swing, Sora Swing. Cesaro, Cesaro swing again. We might have the sh 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 sharks in the earlier round. It's the Tally Wonder SmackDown ta Women's Championship like this. It's gonna be it. And now a cross face! Good lord! A cross face! I haven't seen one of those in years! The end was now, the end is now for the runaway. Oh, wait a minute! One, two, two! Well, it's over. Whatever it is. Oh, that's it, it's over. One, two, three, no! What? Wait, what? No, look, and the Seamus' face is the same look on his time. Tag. Oh no. Double high cross. Double high cross! It's all over. One, two, three, no! Two and seven eighths!
What are they? What are you for? Bring it on, says Dean! Well, this is it. It's game over now. Game over, man. What the hell? Oh, Corona! It's a freaking Sheamus! And a kick! And another super kick! And a knee! Dirty deeds! Can we hit one, two, three? Yes! 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 Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins and the new Raw Tag Team Champions! That's it! I'm making a bold prediction. We're gonna have Kevin Owens lose that title to AJ Styles. We're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna have. We're gonna have Shinsuke Nakamura win the WWE Championship, and we're gonna have either Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, or someone from. Uh, uh, there's gonna be a new Universal Champion. Fucking hell. Every title's gonna change hands tonight! It's predictable, people! And the knee! Boom! There's that knee into the dirty teams! Every title has changed hands! Even the Cruiserweight title! My God! Shinsuke's gonna win. Shinsuke's gonna win. Wrestling referee shirt. Kevin Owens. 
Collins. And now here comes the United States Champion, in which you don't want none, the phenomenal AJ Styles! AJ Styles about to go one on one with Kevin Owens for the United States Championship. And with all the bad luck all the champions have had so far, I have a bad feeling that Kevin Owens may win this match. So, I'm going to make my predictions right now as, Ke as AJ Styles makes his way to the ring. I think it'll be Kevin Owens that wins, but I want AJ to retain this title as no champion has had any luck so far. The only person that hasn't defended his title is the Miz. Because he was in the kickoff show in a six man tag team contest alongside the Mr. Rush to take on Jason Jordan. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, here we go! And the Hardys. And here we go. Uh oh, going for that phenomenal forearm. No! Pop, 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 bomb! One, two, three! He got it! Wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! He spun it! Uh, False alarm. Well, at least one title has to stay as it is. 
and it had to be the United States title. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. Are you ready for this? This is gonna be huge. Ready, set, Ready? I don't know how he does it, but you know, Shinsuke Nakamura is into the ring for the WWE Championship match as the challenger. And my predictions is I think, and I want Shinsuke to win. And here comes the champion of Indian prestige, the modern day Maharaja, Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Tinder 
Mahal, the WWE Champion. Good luck with Shinsuke Nakamura. Good luck with Shinsuke Nakamura. Take only one, oh, it'll just take one king shot. Zimbabwe loves, is that what it says? Zimbabwe loves gender. <laughs> Hawkins feels grim. He deliberately put it down, <laughs> For how long do they get banned from inside? Shinsuke Nakamura is taking on Jinder Mahal and Jinder Mahal is being taken down. Come on, Nakamura. Nakamura Get that title off of Jinder Mahal. Gets the shoulder up in time. Even the cover Nakamura does is unorthodox. Two tap outs are ready tonight. Every championship has changed hands of up the United States title, the Air Colonel title, because the Air Colonel title wasn't actually technically defended. AJ Styles retained his title just a, minute, uh, a few minutes ago. Boom! Boom! King Shasa! No! Two! Almost. There's that knee! Oh, two, three, no! 
Good Lord. Hall was about a half a second away from walking out of here with the WWE title. Stalking the challenger. He's going for a lot. Dangerous territory here for the challenger. Shinsuke Nakamura. Looking for the Kalash. The Kalash. Jennifer Hall here. No, I don't want to end some Gary. Jinder's still on his feet. Jinder is still up. They were hauling to the corner. Oh. Hauling to the steel post. Critical mistake there for the WWE champion. And Shinsuke Nakamura uh -oh. is measuring the hall. Oh. The one you don't see is the one that knocks you out. Uh oh. Oh no. He's going for it. Oh god damn it. Samir Singh. Oh, no, that gun is run to the Singh. Oh my. Boom! Oh, King Sauce is for everybody. Oh, wait a minute! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, the Colossus! The Colossus! One! Two! Three! One! No! 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 I can't believe it! The fucking Sing Brothers! Again! The fucking Sing Brothers! The fucking Sing Brothers once again getting involved! There's no match type that can stop them from getting involved. This is incredible. Who's, who can stop Juno Mahal? A fair cash in attempt from Baron Corbin. Freaking Randy Orton couldn't do it. Baron Corbin couldn't do it. Since Kane and Kamara can't do it. Couldn't do it. What the fuck? Seriously? That collapsed. Fucking kidding me! Again? How the hell is he doing this? The fucking Sing Brothers. Someone's got to take them out. Someone's got to take them out. Are they gonna do this all the way to WrestleMania? My God, what the hell just happened? Here it comes! Braun Strowman! Could he win the WWE Universal title? I think so. No one can just de defeat Braun Strowman. In fact, no one has defeated Braun Strowman in singles competition.
You gotta go to sleep, he says. Ready? Everyone's ready. Everyone's ready. Get ready to do with me now. Boo! Boo this man. a single chair. Will tonight be the night? Death of the Big Dog wins the Universal Championship. Roman Reigns knew it was going to be loud inside Barclay Center. Roman Reigns knows he's in for a fight, but Roman Reigns won't hey, get it done at SummerSlam. Reigns thrives in hostile environments with hostile opponents. Roman Reigns has been to the top of the mountain before. He intends on leaving Brooklyn with the gold. There's a very good chance Roman Reigns is your guy. <laughs> Talking about pressure. This guy right here knows all about pressure. For his most hated superstar in 2016. And Roman Reigns, uh, he's been in the ring with Braun Strowman, a tremendous rivalry throughout the year. He's developing quite the rivalry with Samoa Joe, but the one thing Roman Reigns has that the other two don't is experience in the ring with Brock Lesnar. A triple threat match at Fastlane, a matchup at WrestleMania. Reigns knows what Lesnar is capable of. Absolutely, the experience the beast definitely gives Roman a leg up, and look, I'm going to disagree with you. Roman's not hated, he's controversial. You like him or you dislike him, you have to take the big dog seriously as a top contender. What? The title. I give you that. I mean, Roman Reigns is foundation. That's the one thing about Roman Reigns. Are you actually hearing his bruise right been, now? He's been there. He's you're in, you're in denial, mate. This is. Corey Graves. You don't know, look into the eyes of the big dog, it's hard to bet against him. He I'll is hated. He's he being booed, for fuck's sake. And of course, and finally, you're bo a boy. I'm really not gonna turn it twist in all of you. Mm -hmm. F5 for you, F5 for you, and F5 for you. But I'm not finished with you! Well, here comes the pain! And here comes Brock Lesnar, the Universal Champion. Champion. See, so that's the thing that Rock Lesnar said he will leave WWE alongside with Cole Heyman if he loses this match. And Rock Lesnar is ready for this. So is Roman, so is Strowman, and so is Joe. Joe, Joe. Next from Pensacola, Florida, waiting at 
Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Almighty for the announce table. Let's just just speak for the title. He's been put to the title by Braun Strowman. Ladies and gentlemen, the new United Universal Champion brother. That's the new Universal Champion brother. Na 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 na
He wants revenge on Strowman. And here we go. He's going to run up to Strowman. He's going to run up to Strowman.
Brock Lesnar can actually thank Roman Reigns for the assist. Indeed. Who's the worst for wear right there, guys? And what watch the spear by right Oh, oh man. Nice. Well, what's Strowman, that's for sure. On one knee. Reigns trying to make it back to his feet as well. Both these warriors showing you what they've been through tonight. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Oh. So now it's Joe from behind. Joe sends Reigns out of the ring. Now Samoa Joe turns his attention. Samoa Joe's got it! He's got him! He's not coming to clutch! Can he do it? Can he make him fade away? He made him fade away before! It's going! Is it going? Is Joe going to win the title? Is he going to win? This is what happened last time! This is exactly what happened last time! This is what happened! There we go! We only took one at five last time! At five! At five! At five! It's over! It's over! One! Two! No Roman stops it! Oh, God! Absolutely incredible! This goes to show you how a fatal four way completely changes the complexion of a matchup. That is exactly, exactly what happened before. In a singles match, and Lesnar defeated Samoa Joe. Here, the beatdown just continues. The block. Brock is just stumbling, trying to get to his feet. Remember that Superman punch? Superman punch! Universal Champion stumbles, doesn't go down, uses the ropes to stay up. Roman Reigns. And, uh, no one! He's at WrestleMania a few years ago, but brought Lesnar back to his feet. Lesnar's weak in his knees. Lesnar might be out on his feet. And no, 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 no. Finally, free Superman punches Roman's a winner. This is it. This is it. We've got the new champion right here. That's it, it's over. Sorry, Brock, you had a good reign in the WWE. Uh, uh, this time, the second time round, and uh, you became Universal Champion. And you had a good reign as Universal Champion. But, ooh, here we go. Brock, oh my god, Brock, Brock, and five, it's over. Surely now, one, two, three, he did it, oh my god. And still. Universal Champion Brock Lesnar being taken out by Strowman being taken out by Roman being taken out by Joe and still he manages to come back from being taken out by Strowman not one, not two, but three tables my god and he comes back and takes out all of the all comers and retains the title? Who on earth can stop Brock Lesnar? If Braun Strowman can't stop Brock Lesnar, if Shimon Joe can't stop Brock Lesnar, and if Roman Reigns can't stop Brock Lesnar, who's the last to stop Brock Lesnar? I'll take a hit. He can't. He, he brought us a the streak. I John Cena maybe, but you know he's on SmackDown. At the moment, I mean, technically speaking, he is a free agent. Uh, I mean, the scene says it all. Brock Lesnar. Holy bull! Tonight, so much as the fact that Brock just survived. Brock Lesnar is carted out of the Barclays Center on a stretcher. Left it to a triple threat style matchup uh, until Brock Lesnar would return now. The, the closing moments of this matchup. But the Beast dug his claws into the side of the mountain. Took the big dog off the top with an F5 that registered on the Richter scale. Well, there you have it, folks. There you have it. WWE SummerSlam 2017 was about that one of the best SummerSlams of all time. Total match, title change after title change after title change, nearly became predictable. But it didn't happen, as there were only three matches where the title didn't change hands. And there was only one title that didn't change hands due to the fact that they, it wasn't even defended. And that was the Intercontinental title, the United States title, Universal title, and WWE title. All four of those were successfully defended. As I will go back to the beginning, as the three matches on the kickoff show. As the first match was uh, the uh, 
Six Bang Tag Team matchup as the Intercontinental Champion The Miz wasn't uh, didn't have any Intercontinental Championship match uh, at SummerSlam and he was really mad about that and pissed off. So it was him and uh, it was The Miz and the Mr. Raj that took on Je the Hardys and Jason Jordan. Nobody got to see that match because hardly anyone was in that fucking arena at the time as they were holding them off back and the out at the back uh, for whatever reasons. Um, but the Mr. Miz actually and the Mr. Raj managed to get the victory there because he was sneaky enough to get a snort skull crash for the finale onto Jason Jordan and pinned him one, two, three. The second match on the kickoff show was for the Cruiserweight Championship. What are you doing? Was it for the Cruiserweight Championship? And my god, that was a hell of a match. But in the end, we have a new Cruiserweight Champion as Niffle regained the championship off of Akira Suzawa. And the third and final match on the kickoff show was the New Day defended their title taken as the Usos. And we have new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions in the Usos. Once again, so that was interesting. I that was a really, really awesome tag team matchup. All the matches were great, apart from one match, which I will get to in a bit. Then we kicked off SummerSlam fully, properly, as John Cena took on Baron Corbin, and my God, there was absolutely uh, oh no, let's see if Cena did it. Show style. Yep, he got the old shovel out and started to bury fucking Baron Corbin as he beat Baron Corbin. Why? We do not know. There is no reason for him to have won. There was absolutely no reason, reason, reason whatsoever. But he did, because it's SummerSlam. It's a big, big, big match. It was the first match on the fucking car. There was no reason, reason for him to have won that match. Yeah. But we went on to the second match of the night. The night was the SmackDown Live Women's Championship match between Natalia and Naomi. Natalia won the title. We have that is a weird twist of events, as Naomi got put in the sharpshooter by Natalia. Naomi tapped out. Poor get pussy bitch. Uh, what was the third one? The third match was a Raw match. Uh, I think it was a championship match. I would like to say the War of the Raw Tag Team Titles. I think it was. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Because it wasn't the women. There wasn't the women's match. That was a little bit later. Wrong, but I, even if it wasn't, I'm gonna go through that match as that was an epic match too. As the as Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins reunited as two halves of the Shield one more last time. Uh, well, maybe one, maybe not. But one more last time. I said it's not tag team Raw tag team champions. That's right. We defeated Cesaro and Sheamus for the Raw tag team titles. I think this is a new and approved Shield. It's the Shield 2.0. The reunion. How long is it going to last? Will they actually come back with their full Shield attire? Uh. Pardon me. Uh, but no. Uh, who knows what's going to happen on, uh, in the future. I hope to see Monday Night Raw and Smackdown from the week after. Which I will watch tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to tell you about the another Raw match, which was the Raw Women's Championship match between Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss defended her title against 
Uh, Sasha Banks? Sasha Banks won that title as we have a new Raw Women's Champion in Sasha Banks! Again, something could have happened between now or between SummerSlam and now on the day of this recording uh, but as far as I know from watching SummerSlam but Sasha Banks uh, for all of the people that I've met that have won these ti their titles they are the current champions of the timing of this recording so yeah, that was amazing uh, that was legitimately a really good match going on to a Smackdown match which lasted seconds uh, we had Randy Orton versus Rusev match Randy Orton was doing his entrance, got onto the top rope did his thing, but then got attacked by Rusev uh, outside, chucked outside the ring got back in the ring Rusev was like, I'm ready to go, and he got like he was a money in the bank winner went to, to went the bell rang Randy Orton hit the RKO, one, two, three that lasted like 10 seconds Probably a lot longer than I would probably last if I was to have sex. <laughs> but, but seriously, what? I don't know how many seconds that took. It probably lasted 10, 20 seconds. Uh, somebody tell me in the comments how long it actually took for anyone to beat Rusev at SummerSlam 2017. Uh, then we had the. Again, so there's no particular order on this team. Smackdown, another Smackdown match which was the United States title where is the uh, AJ Styles uh, we all had new champions up to this point uh, there was one shitty match I'll do that in a sec uh, in fact no, I'll do that before we had the United States Championship match we had one shitty bad match for Monday Night Raw and that was the freaking shark cage match where as Enzo More was in a shark cage and it was just a match between Big Show and Big Cass and Big Cass, I think Big Cass won if I remember correctly, yeah, he took out Enzo and Big Show uh, and Big Show had this bad hand from the Monday Night Raw the previous, I don't know, Enzo managed to get out by using baby oil what the hell it was a shitty promo from Enzo Amore, not as exciting as it used to be, because, you know, he was walking into a fucking match where he was going into a cage, and he was very energetic! My god, I don't know what they're doing with Enzo Amore, but for my love of god, put him somewhere else, please. I don't want to see him on Raw anymore. Please, just like, you know, I, I don't know what they're going to do with him, but don't want him on Raw. Well, put on SmackDown. I don't know. Uh, but that was a shitty Raw match, and I'm gonna say that was. Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention. I was on my phone. I was just literally on my phone the entire match. You'll see it in the recording if I don't edit it out. Of course. Which brings me to the United States Championship match, which I was about to talk about. I went, but I wanted to get that shitty one shitty match, one shit match out the way. And the rest of the matches were brilliant. Loads of good spots in the and even the kickoff, you know, that, that was amazing. Um, but the United States Championship match between AJ Styles, uh, the current champion, versus the challenger Kevin Owens, who uh, lost his championship in a triple threat match with Chris Jericho in there for whatever reason, on a SmackDown Live, and then later on he had the rematch clause and at the referee that got went down by the dust one sort of yeah, dust of wind and had his eye sorted and he didn't see the total come up and that was the rubber match and Shane McMahon was the special guest referee and flopped all over the place. It wasn't as good as uh, some of the other matches so you know but hey AJ Styles is still United States champion like I said uh, he retained the championship by just having the, uh, hitting the. I have to admit, there were some good spots there, but not as good as some of the other matches later on. Uh, like the Ginger Mahal vs. Shinsuke Nakamura match. It started off really good. That Shinsuke Nakamura vs. Ginger Mahal for the WWE Championship. 
but it was just the end like always it was just a cowardly hill thanks to the interference of Ron James Shing and the Singh brothers interfering even though they didn't touch Shinsuke Nakamura and Shinsuke Nakamura looked, took them out and they look as weak as weakest bodyguards since J and J security and just got in the way and helped Jinder Mahal win by having Jinder Mahal hit the Kamas afterwards. Even though he pinned him cleanly, he didn't win cleanly. There was shenanigans and Jinder Mahal was still champion. After all that build up of winning the you know that number one contender spot by beating John Cena. Then John Cena now next week beating Jinder Mahal. What the hell? Yeah, and having a failed cash in the week after that. I just I don't know, the whole build out for it just maybe it just doesn't sit with me. The whole finish just I don't know. But you know, for one major championship to the other and the raw main event for the, the final four way match for the Universal Championship mwah, I, I I went I sat through the entire thing at that and I was like I felt like I might have had a heart attack or a stroke. But Braun Strowman to dominate Brock Lesnar by putting through for all three announce tables and by ringside. They could have, he could have dragged his off and put through the Raw announce table if he wanted to. And Brock Lesnar getting carried off into the back for it to rest. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, and then just Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman and Simone Drew taking out each other and taking each other's finishes and and then Brock Lesnar comes back and dominates them all with German suplexes and F5s and Roman Reigns ends up getting in the ring with Brock Lesnar at the last minute with three Superman punches and he goes for the spear and gets caught with an F5 and that's it it's over just like that one two three it's over still you're your universal champion the mayor of suplex city the beast but Conqueror, Brock, freaking Lesnar. What will happen on Monday Night Raw? You guys probably already know what happened. I don't. I have not seen it, but I will watch it tomorrow. And I will even watch Smackdown tomorrow. And as today's Monday, I will probably even watch today's... Uh, today's Monday Night Raw. And... Tomorrow's, uh, is tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, in yeah, tomorrow's SmackDown on Wednesday. So I then I will be finally caught up. So what do you think of SummerSlam? Let me know in the comments below. I know I took a few breaks in between, but luckily my future me and had to edit that out, and I will have this video uploaded to YouTube as soon as possible. I'm Dan Arvidi32000, also known as Dan Chitons Dan on Xbox Live. I uh, was saying, my god, I can't wait for the next pay per view, which is the raw exclusive pay per view of No Mercy. I will make my predictions for that, and, uh, and I will also watch their review and reactions to that. And until then, I shall see you next time. Bye bye! And if you like this video, then click on the playlist on the right hand side to catch up with any of the other videos from this playlist. And also on the left hand side, click on the previous video. And then feel free to like, share and subscribe by clicking on the Master Chief icon. And Dan Arbitrary Tree 2000, also known as Dan 2 times 10 on Xbox Live, saying thank you very much for watching this video. Bye bye!